Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be looking at a defensive technique called the shave. So let's go! Do you want to become a better hockey player? And do you feel like you're not reaching your full potential? Do you feel like your club, college or school program is just not cutting it and just not enough for you? Then this is the solution. I have launched Hertzberger TV Premium online courses. These online courses are made out of detailed video content, tutorials on the pitch, a little bit of my vision, some tips and tricks, and a couple of my secrets. Also, I'm gonna show you game situations where you can see how I've chosen the right skill to execute and why. So check out the link in the description, check out Hertzberger TV Premium, and maybe there's an online course for you. Okay, so for this exercise, I've invited my friend Alexander Schop from my team. Hi, Alex. <laughs> nice to have you. Um, so, there are many different ways to steal the ball off a defender. However, uh, today we're going to be looking at the backhand shave. And the backhand shave is a really useful exercise because uh, it can be really effective. And technically, it's not that difficult. It's all about timing and about getting low. So, uh, as you can see, if the, if the striker has the ball, uh, obviously you can, you can try and jab the ball away. You can try and do a forehand tackle, but the good thing about a shave tackle is that you can really surprise uh, attackers and try and steal the ball also when you're on running speed. So the main thing what you want to do is you want to come in and you're actually going to try and shave away with one hand with the back side of your stick and from here you're going to try and steal the ball. That's the main way how to do the shave tackle. We're going to show you how to do it in different situations on speed, slow and fast. So let's go. Okay, so. In a running form, what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, Alexander run with the ball. And then from here, at a certain point, you're running with your attacker. And from here, you're going to try and come in and try and get one hand to go down and try and shave it with this part of the stick. So this part of the stick, if Ali has the ball, you got this part of the stick and you're going to try and come under and try and surprise. Don't do this because it'll be a foul and the referee will blow against you. But all you're doing is from, from here, you're going to try and come in and try and take it away like that. And the movement needs to be quick because the, the guy on the ball is obviously not gonna just let, let, him, let, let, let you surprise him, but you gotta come in and really try and take it away like that. Okay, so the big question is, when would you use the shave compared to, for example, the jab? Well, if someone's on the left, say Alexander is trying to accelerate towards goal on the left side of the pitch, if I jab the ball towards my own D, that's not really going to help because that's only going to push the ball towards my, my own circle. If he's quick, then he's going to get there first. So for example, if he tries to cut inside and I'm coming from the middle, that's when the jab would be the better solution because when you jab the ball, the ball tends to go to the right and you can actually continue your run. So if you make the jab like this, you can use the hook of your stick to push it that way and I can go to the other side because that's where I want to go after I steal the ball. Okay, so what you actually want to do is you want to use this part of the stick, maybe a part of the grip, to try and get on the ball, to try and, and, and take it. Usually you're going to step out with your left foot. So for example, if uh, Alexander has the ball on the stick, if I'm coming in from here, I can step out with left and I can even maybe plant my hand on the ground to give myself extra support. And from here then, I can really step out and try and take the ball like that. So you have to get really low, step out with your left foot. Then maybe the right hand can be here. And then from here, you use this part of the stick, bottom of the grip or the beginning of the stick to try and shave the ball out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was the backhand shave. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.